Are you exhausted trying to keep it all together? Do you feel like you just can't keep making so much effort to stay out of a place you don't want to go to? Like you're slipping down this tunnel and you're holding on by your fingernails? I'm Lisa Jane and I totally get that you might feel that place. I'd like to share a few things with you that might help you see things a little bit differently and maybe give you some tools to completely flip that around. I was thinking about this this morning because I understand that a lot of people are feeling this way right now. There's a lot of chaos outside us. And one of the things that um, I teach and I guide the people I work with to understand is that there's a frame that we live within that keeps us separate from the true us. And the true us is where our our inner power is that place of you know what actually I'm okay and I know that I've got this I can relax I can feel relief the frame that we live within now is a separation model I call it the separation model what it does is it influences us to create thoughts and patterns and behaviors that imprint or that set up um, walls if you like so that we find it a little bit challenging to access our true power sometimes we can't even see it sometimes we can't even see who we really are because that's the purpose of the frame right the frame is there so that we can't see who we are and every time we have an emotion and a feeling what it is it's our truth going hello have a look this is not who you are this is an opportunity for you to come back and have a look at who you really are. Find that place and access that personal power every single time you feel an emotion. However, the frame that we're raised in and that we're shown everywhere actually takes us further away from our truth, from our personal power. And I wanted to share that with you because if you're feeling like, oh, I'm so sick of trying, I can't do this anymore, I'm overwhelmed. Well, of course, because when you're in that frame, when you're in the separation model, you can do as much work on yourself as you like. You can read as many books, you can fix your mindset, you can do every, and like all those things help, right? They help because you're growing, but you're still growing within a frame of separation. You're still growing within a life model that is founded on me being separate to my inner power. It's a frame founded on me needing to do something or be something else or get something from the external environment in order for me to be okay. That's what the frame is founded on. So it doesn't matter how much work you do, you're always going to come back to a place every now and then when you're triggered, when you have a massive trauma or you have a divorce or a relationship breakup to that place where you feel like, oh my God, have I actually really grown? Have I actually gotten any further? And yes, you have, you have progressed, but you're still not free on the inside because you haven't yet identified and like I'm speaking generally here because I'm sure some people are starting to see this frame identifying that there are things that we do and behaviors and thoughts that are based on this model that we've been taught that keeps us separate from our inner truth. So as I was thinking about this in the shower this morning and I'm thinking, okay, I can share this stuff with you and you can go, yeah, great. That's good for you, Lisa. And you may feel that. And you may experience that and that may be totally your reality but how do i even know that exists in me how do i know and that's a good question and i ask myself that because i have to answer that for you so that you can access that place of truth in yourself because if i can't answer that question then how are you going to implement it how are you actually going to start to believe that that you are much more than what you've ever believed you were so here's my answer I'm sure that at some point of your life when you're a child you remember feeling free 
you remember feeling not like you do right now. If you're sliding down a tunnel, hanging on by your fingernails, I could probably guarantee that you can remember times in your life that you felt so at ease in yourself, so natural, so innocent, so not caught up in your thoughts, so being in this moment. Can you remember those times? Or maybe you can remember a time that you've really, really felt so much love for a pet or for a, a landscape. You've just sat and you've just been in this beauty. And you've felt this love pouring out of your heart. And in that moment, you've gone, oh, it's a relief. That, that is what you really are. That beautiful peace, that calm, that inner acceptance and inner strength. Because if it wasn't who you are, how could it just appear? If it was something that you're not, you'd have to fight to get there, right? You'd have to fight to get there. But that's not what happens. When you see your truth and you feel the power of your truth, it's something that actually comes upon you quite naturally. It is when you're just completely relaxed, completely surrendered, like a child. You're just playing, you're just in that moment. That's your natural state. That is your natural self, your truest self. And there's so much power in that. So when you're feeling like you can't try anymore, that you're hanging on by your fingernails and you're sliding down this dark hole, remind yourself that that's not who you are. That's the constructs or the frame, the thoughts that maybe you're holding on to, the um, things that you've been told, the things that you've seen out in your external environment, all of those things that have actually shown you that you're separate from that place of truth in you. You don't have to believe that. And in fact, at first, you might not be able to access that place of being able to completely let go. But there's two things that I want you to do. First of all, just do it anyway. Every time you're stuck in that place, just go, that's not who I am. 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 Or that's the old Lisa. That's the old Lisa. The new Lisa doesn't think like that anymore. That's the old Lisa. And then if you can replace it with something that makes you feel good, like a version of yourself that you might be able to feel a little bit confident about moving towards. So you're going to go, that's not who I am. Actually, I am this. I, I do actually have the capacity to move through this because I've done it before. And I'm going to focus on that. And I'm going to feel my heart. I'm going to use my inside eye and keep looking at this feeling in me that is at ease, that is calm and that is peace. And I'm going to try to keep my focus on that. And I'm going to start focusing on that rather than on my problem and what I'm not. And the second thing I'd like you to do, if you're still feeling like, yeah, I just don't know about all this stuff. And I won't say this very often because I believe that your power is in taking back your own authority, which means you have the ability to question everybody and you don't give away your power to people that tell you what to do or how to be or who to be anything. But for now, if you can't feel that and if you don't know that and you doubt what I'm saying, please trust me. Just trust that this is in you. Trust me until you feel it. And then when you feel it, don't trust me, trust yourself. Stand in the trust of who you really are and don't let go of that for anybody or anything. Because you absolutely can do this. You absolutely have got this and this is time. It's time now for you to grab this opportunity wherever you are and remind yourself of who you really are. Because you know what? Like. Who wants to make all that effort? Who wants to stay in that place? Don't you want to be free? 
Don't you really want to be free? This is the moment. How free do you want to be? Sending your love.